Right, this in five says, a bag contains four blue discs and six red discs. <coughs> Exciting bag. Chloe takes a disc from the bag. If the disc is red, she takes two more discs. If not, she takes one more disc. Each disc is taken at random and no discs are replaced. Complete the probability tree diagram in your answer book, showing all the probabilities. Well, I haven't got an answer book, but I have got this diagram here, so I'm going to complete it on here. So what happens? If uh, there were ten discs, if she takes a red one, she's going to take two more discs, regardless of what they are. So the probability of getting another red one Um, is, well, there are now, what is it, Richard? Five over nine. Five over nine, and now five discs left out of the nine. So blue, there are still the four that we started with, so that's four out of nine. And this doesn't change what happens. She, at that point, she knew she was taking two more, so we're still going to take more discs out, and it could be red or blue. So now there are eight discs left, of which four of them are red, and four of them are blue. So that's four out of eight and four out of eight, which I've chosen to write at a half and a half, but it doesn't matter how you wrote that. Um, down here, we've still, well, we have one red disc gone, so there's still five red discs out of the remaining eight, and three of them are blue, so it must be five eighths and three eighths. My five there is a little bit three, so just be careful. Um, down here, if we we just do one more selection, if the first one that she selected was blue, so um, there are nine discs left, of which three of them are blue, so I'm going to write a third there and two thirds there. It is fine not to cancel those down and put them as the, um, the form values, that's, that's all right. Okay, um, there we go. Show that the probability of x, oh, the total number of blue discs that she takes is, is x. Show that the probability of x being 1 is 3 fifths. Right. Um, I, I feel I can do a little bit along the end here where I say what x is at the end of each of these branches. That might be useful, mine too. So x is the number of blue discs. So this, this was x being 0. Here x was 1, x was 1 there, x was 2 in that case. This branch here x was 1, and here x was 2. Does that make sense? Can you see what we've done with that? Just to kind of work out what was going on with x. So the way that x could be 1 is this branch, this branch, and this branch. So the probability of x being 1, we need to add together those probabilities. So. That was the first one came from red, red, blue. The second one came from us doing red, blue, red. And the third one came from us doing blue followed by red. So that was red, red, blue was a six, six tenths, five ninths and a half. Red, blue, red was six tenths, four ninths, and five eighths. And blue, red was four tenths times two thirds. And, and I think that's enough to show that we know what we're doing with this. Um, the answer was given. We'll just check it. Six tenths times five ninths times one over two plus six over ten times four over nine times five oh, oh no I've messed up formatting times five over eight plus four over ten times two over three finally gives us three-fifths. Oh, yes. Hurrah. The probability, complete probability distribution of x given below calculates e of x 
and variant specs. What a nice way to end the question. So, E of x is what we get if we multiply the x value by the probability. So 0 times a sixth plus 1 times 3 fifths plus 2 times 7 thirtieths, giving us Uh, I think 16 fifteenths. Do you agree with that? Nobody's worked it out. Uh, yep, I think we agree with that. And the variance of x. Now, the variance of x, we've already used it when we did the standard deviation. It's the square, uh, the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. It's e of x squared minus square of the mean. So, the expectation of x squared is what we get if we take this, this original table and square the x values before we multiply by the probabilities. So in effect we're doing 0 squared times a sixth plus 1 squared times 3 fifths plus 2 squared times 7 thirtieths. And then we take away the square of the mean. So subtract 16 fifteenths when you square it. That's what we're needing to work out for this. That first line gives us um, 23 fifteenths minus 2 5 6 over 2 2 5. So we get I think 89 over 225. There we go. And that's the value of the variance. Okay, all happy?